Good morning, our brothers and sisters. May the peace of the Lord be with you this morning, Jesus' name. Father, Lord Jesus, my Lord, my God, bless you, we worship you, Father. Give you thanks, we give you adorations, we thank you, Lord, for all that you have done for us. You brought us into another brand new day, O oh Lord. Jesus, we thank you because you remember to wake us up. Lord Jesus, we bless you, Lord Father, for your grace upon our life. We don't appreciate your work, O oh Lord. Jesus, accept our thanksgiving offering this morning, Lord, in the mighty name of Jesus. I bind every forces of darkness from the pit of hell, anywhere they have assign any demon or whatever demon they have assigned against us this morning. Father, by your power and authority, I take, author I take authority over them today, Lord, in the name of Jesus. I destroy every forces of darkness from our father family, from our mother family. Every monitoring spirit that have been assigned against us, wherever anyone is right now that are viewing us, Wherever you are, I take authority over those demons and I command them to be destroyed in the name of Jesus. Any power that is making you to move backward and forwards, Father, I bind those powers in the mighty name of Jesus. That run about spirit, wherever it's operating from your life, Jesus, I, I use your blood, O oh Lord, to demolish and to destroy those powers in the mighty name of Jesus. Father, I break every yoke of repeated problem in the, in the life of people this morning in the mighty name of Jesus. Even in my own life, every power of repeated problem in Global Life Apostolic Ministries, in my family, in our children's life, Father, we bind it, Lord, in the mighty name of Jesus. Father, have your way, Lord. I sprinkle your blood into every department of our life, up to 20,000 kilometers, wherever your children are washing us from. Father, Lord God, Holy Spirit, let your blood cover them up today, Lord, in the mighty name of Jesus. Father, have your way. For in Jesus' mighty name, I have prayed. Amen. Let us sing. Uh, 272, I have decided to follow Jesus. One to go. Decided to follow Jesus. I have decided to follow Jesus. I have decided. To follow Jesus, no turning back, no turning back. The world behind me, the cross before me. The world behind me, the cross before me. The world behind me. The cross before me, no turning back, no turning back. No longer with me, I see we follow. No longer with me, I see we follow. No longer with me. I see we fall. No turning back. No turning back. Decide now to follow Jesus. Will you decide now to follow Jesus? Will you decide now? To follow Jesus, no turning back, no turning back. My cross I carry till I see Jesus. 
Makrosakari TIC Jesus Makrosakari TIC Jesus No turning back No turning back Let us also sing 57 Here pass for the water one to go. As the tears run to the fall, the water so my soul longs after you. You are low on my heart, desire and I long to worship you. You are Lord, and my strength, my sheep. To you are Lord, make my spirit yield. You are Lord, and my heart, desire and I long to worship you. I want you, Mother God, O Savior, only you, Christ is fine. You are Lord, Adere, joy giver, and dear of all my eyes. You To you I make my spirit is. You are my heart, desire and I long to worship you. You are my friend and you are my brother ever though. You are a king. I love you more than any other, so much more than anything. You are Lord, I my strength, my sheep. To you I look. May my spirit yet you are my heart, desire and I long to worship you. Thank you. Let us sing one six seven. Give me oil in my lap. Keep me burning. One to go. Give, Give me oil in my lap. Keep me burning. Give me oil in my lap. I pray. Give me oil in my lap. Keep me burning. Give me bonnie to the break of day. Sing, O Zaina, sing, O Zaina, sing, O Zaina, to the King of Kings. Sing, O Zaina, sing, O Zaina, Sing Hosanna to the King. Make me fish as of mine, keep me sinking. Make me fish as of men, I pray. Make me fish as of men, keep me sinking. 
Him is seeking to the break of day. Sing, Hosanna, sing, Hosanna, sing, Hosanna to the King of Kings. Sing, Hosanna, sing, Hosanna. Sing, Hosanna to the King. Give me joy in my heart, give me singing. Give me joy in my heart, I pray. Give me joy in my heart, keep me singing. Keep me singing till the break of day. Sing, Hosanna, sing, Hosanna, sing, Hosanna to the King of Kings. Sing, Hosanna, sing, Hosanna. Sing, Hosanna to the King. Give me love in my heart, feed me suffering. Give me love in my heart, I pray. Give me love in my heart, give me suffering. Give me sovereignty that break all day. Sing, Hosanna, sing, Hosanna, sing, Hosanna to the King of Kings. Sing, Hosanna, sing, Hosanna, sing, Hosanna to the King. Lord Jesus, Father, Lord of Holy Spirit. We still appreciate your work in our life, oh Lord. I thank you for the multitude of family that feed it, that is listening to us right now. Jesus, I just thank you for your for their life, oh Lord. I thank you for because you remember to wake each and every one of us up today. Father, accept our thanksgiving offering in the mighty name of Jesus. As we are going to your word, oh Lord, I don't have a word of my own. Father, speak through us today, O oh Lord. Speak through me, Father, in the mighty name of Jesus. And touch the life of every soul. Those brokenhearted, those hearts that is sick this morning, heal them, O oh Lord, in the mighty name of Jesus. The reason why we are serving you, Father, Lord Jesus, Holy Spirit, is for us to attain, for us to receive, for us to receive that salvation that you have already given us. Any power that want to wage war against us, I want us to bask life. Father, we break that power right now. We bind it in the mighty name of Jesus. I thank you, Father, because you have done it. For in Jesus' mighty name, we have prayed. Amen. Good morning, our brothers and sisters. Uh, today, we are going to the book of First Peter again. We're going to use uh, from... Um, First Peter chapter 2, we're going to use from 11 to 17. Hallelujah. So that we may have some few time to pray. Amen. 11 to 17. And the topic is Ascend from lost, from freshly lost. Ascend. Come out from that fleshy desire has came from fleshly lust. God will bless us in Jesus' name. 11 to 17, please. First Peter chapter 2. Yes. From verse 11 to 17. Yes. Beloved, I beg you as a sojourner and a pedigrees, abstain from the fleshy lust, which war against the soul having your conduct honorable among the Gentiles, that when they speak against you as evil does, they may by your good works, which they observe 
glorify God in the day of visitation. Yes. Therefore, submit yourself to every ordinance of man. For the Lord said, whether to the king as a supreme or to the governors as to those who are set by him, for the punishment of evil deaths and for the prayers of those who do good. For this is the will of God, that by doing good, you may put to silence the ignorance of a foolish man. As free, yet no using liberty as a club for vice for vice, but as a bond servant of God, honor all people, love the brethren who fear God, honor the king. Amen. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you for the reading. The topic for today is abstain from freshly lost. We shouldn't let, let uh, the flesh send us to hellfire. Say, beloved, I urge you as alien and stranger to abstain from freshly lost, which wage war against the soul. What are the fleshly lost? They are fornication, adultery, uh, bearing false witnesses, lying against somebody. So many. You want to desire some, uh, or you want to deceive somebody, like in my place, what they call 419. In advanced country, they say it's scam, scam. You want to deceive somebody to take what he or she have because you need it. This flesh, what, I mean, let me just use the word, the world as we are now. Many things is happening in it. But he said we should dis, we should dis, we should abstain from it. We should come out from those fleshly lots. Even some of the food that we eat, doctor will tell you because of so 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 and so, you cannot eat so 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 and so food. Praise God. Or because of the sickness, you cannot fast. Hallelujah. More, more, more revelation or more, yes, more revelation is coming out in that very area now that what they have been using to treat some of your, 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 pro, uh, your sickness is not supposed to be so, that they are only just testing, they are only just treating the, the, the symptom. See, asking from fleshly loss. Praise God. We have to come out from those very things that is not making us to, to do the right thing with God. We are looking for money in a very, many people are looking for money in a very wrong way. God did not say we shouldn't have money. In Deuteronomy chapter eight, it said he gave us the power to make wet. He's the one that gave us the power to make wet. But many people today, some want to do prostitution. Men and women are doing prostitution this time around because of that very money. They want to kill. They want to kill somebody because they want to make the money. Or even like the politicians, some of the politicians, they want to do something that is not supposed to be done because they want that very position. God is telling us this morning that we should come out from those things. We should come out from those fleshly lost. Hallelujah. Somebody want to lie against somebody because he wants that position in the office. Both of you are working together, but they want to lie against you. No matter the category of work that you are doing, in advanced country, is happening in those, I mean, it's, it's happening most of the time. You want to lie, 
your the one under under you want to lie against you in order for he or she to take your position. But God is also telling you you shouldn't lie against that person because you want the upper position. You shouldn't lie against the one on top of you too. Hallelujah. You shouldn't be a false witness. Something that happened, say it the way it is. If you are not there, just say you are not, I mean, you don't know what happened. Praise God. So these are the things that God said we should abstain from. He said, um, keep your behavior excellence among the Gentiles so that <clears throat> In the thing, in the thing in which they slander, you is, I mean, you as evildoer. They slander as you as evildoer. They may, on account of your good deed, as they observe them, glorify God in the day of visitation. Praise God. Some evildoer, they may be seeing what you are doing. They may plan evil against you, but they are still think they are they still have an account of some good deed, some good work that you also do. So that on that very day of visitation, they, nobody knows the day of visitation. We, that is why we need to be very ready. Because God can visit us at any time. We are praying daily, we are doing everything possible. We don't know when the answer of that very prayer will come. That is why God is telling us for us to be ready. He can see us. He can visit us anytime. He doesn't need our permission. The only permission he needs for us is for us to be free from sin. Because when we are in sin, he cannot come near us. It's like we're wearing a white shirt now. If we wear white shirt and you put uh, something on it, like a stain and oil, you put it on it. Until you remove that stain, you cannot wear it out. Even if you have already worn it, you will just, I mean, immediately you notice it. For somebody else not to say, oh, this man is dirty, you will quickly take it to, I mean, take it off and take another one. So our God is a, um, is a God that doesn't want sin in our life. He doesn't want us to commit sin because he's not a sinner. He wants us to be free. That's why he's telling myself and yourself this morning that we should abstain, we should come out, we should stop any freshly lost. That had desire. You see somebody, that is uh, that is prospering. You want to envy that person. You don't know what he or she is doing. But when we also work hard, we can also get what that person has. Or somebody else is envying you because, of, because God has already blessed you and your family. They want to do bad things to you. They want to lie against you. They want to do you wickedness. God is telling everyone that we should stop those things. Verse 13 says, submit yourself to the Lord. Sorry. To submit yourself for the Lord's sake to every human institution. Whether to a king as the one in authority. Is talking about talking about the, the 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 government of the day, like the prince, I mean, or the royal family, or the prime minister, or the law of the land. Even in your house, God said we should submit ourselves to the authority, even to the authority of God. Also, we should submit ourselves to it. He said, for God, for, submit yourself for the Lord's sake to every human authority. Every human authority can be your place of work, 
That does not mean that when you are when they are doing bad to you, you shouldn't talk. But it's telling us that we should obey the law. If you are driving, you see a red light. Remember that there is also a camera there. You shouldn't you shouldn't drive across that very red line. If not, a camera there will also take you. Hallelujah. Or also, there are some, some speed limit. You shouldn't drive the way they don't want you to drive. And also respect the authority, respect the law of the land. Praise God. Because it's God that ordained them, that make it possible for, the, for them to be in that very position. That's why God is telling us this morning that we should respect the law of the land. Respect the law. The, 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 or submit yourself to the human authority can also be your place of work. What they ask you to do, the job description they gave to you, you do it according to the way they do it to you. But if somebody now want to lie against you, God will now support you to come out from that trouble. But if you are not, if you are doing eye, eye service, also in the church, we should submit ourselves to the authority of the church. But not when somebody is doing bad, you see that what that man or that woman, the pastor or the pastor's wife or anybody is doing, or the elder, you see that they are doing wrong thing. Then you want to stop, I mean, you, you don't want to talk. That is not what God is saying. The good side of it, submit yourself to it. Hallelujah. Verse 14, he said, or to governors as sent by him for the punishment of evildoer and the praise of and the praise of those who do right. Also, the governor, we have talked about it. The mayor of the land, the governor, the, the prime minister, the president, not like those that are killing people. Praise God. We don't know why some of them, they don't want to change their mind towards their citizen, mostly in Africa, the way they are killing people, Nigeria, Congo, South Africa, the way they are killing people in those areas. We don't know exactly what the devil is using them to do in those areas. So God is telling us to abstain or to obey their obey, obey the governors, everyone that is on the seat. Because the book of Daniel makes us to understand some part of it. Say, God is the God that sits up kings and is also the one that removes kings. Their time is limited. Whatever anyone that is doing bad things, their time is very short. Praise God. Verse 15. It says, for such is the will of God that by doing right you may silent you may silent the ignorance of foolish men. We have to do the right thing. Somebody, it can also be in our family too, can even be among your siblings. They want to do bad things to you, but you always think good of them. You want to help them to pay their children's school fees. You want to help them, I mean, give them money for, for feeding. So he said by doing right to them, God is also, God will silent the ignorant people because they are ignorant. They don't know what they are doing. That's what Jesus Christ told them on the cross. That very day they crucify him because the people that did it, they are ignorant of what they were doing. The devil entered them, made them to be foolish of what they did to him. Before he gave us the ghost, he said, Father, forgive them, for they know not what they are doing. Praise God. Verse 16, he said, um, at as free man, and do not use your freedom as a covering for evil but use it as bond slave of God. We are, 
we are bond servant of God because what we are, what God has placed us to be, the way we are serving God, we have accepted him as our Lord and personal Savior. It's not like when we were in the world, when we were in darkness. Many things we cannot do it right now. Or we cannot do it or we cannot behave the way we are behaving before. If we are still doing that, the, if the, 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 the unbelievers, they will, they will look at us as if we don't know what we are doing. Hallelujah. So we are already, the spirit of the living God, Jesus Christ himself has arrested us. So we are bound slaves of God. So we shouldn't behave the ways others are behaving. Or we shouldn't also use our character like what is happening in some, in some areas of uh, Christendom today. We shouldn't use our right because we are now a free man. We are free in the sense, on the sense that God, Jesus Christ has died for us. So we shouldn't use that privilege to be extracting a money or using it to do evil, to extract money or to start behaving anyhow. When God did not say something, you will say, God say, thus says the Lord. Hallelujah. Anybody, God can use anybody to speak to somebody. So that verse 15, he said we shouldn't use our freedom to do evil because God has already given us that freedom. Hallelujah. He said, honor all men, love brotherhood, fear God, honor the king. Say we should fear God and we should still honor the king. We should, within the Christendom, brothers and sisters, we should honor ourselves, we should respect ourselves. Don't do harm to anybody. Like what, in, in many places today, Christendom too, there are many fights. People are fighting each other. Instead of we to look for a way to, to, uh, to fight the devil, but we are fighting ourselves. That verse 17 says we should honor all men. Hallelujah. Love one another. What you have is for me. What I have is for you. Like the gift that I have, I cannot use it for myself alone. It's for somebody else. It's for you that is listening to me right now. Thereby, your own gift too is also for me. In some area, you cannot use it for yourself alone. I cannot use it for myself alone. So we should love one another. And God will bless us in Jesus' name. As we continue to run from that, from that fleshly lust, we want to bear false witness because somebody, you, uh, somebody, because people hate that person, they want to bear false witness in order for that person to go to prison or in order for him, he, he or she to be, to, to be shamed. God is telling us we shouldn't do that. If we read the book of uh, Exodus chapter 20, we will see most of those things there. We sh shouldn't kill because we need money. Like a little boy, I was using to give example about two days ago. Because of 50,000 naira, which is not up to 80 pounds, that little boy, a boy of 16 years, went to go and kill somebody. Because they said, go and bring the heart and the liver of that of, of somebody. He went to go and kill somebody. Why? You can imagine if that child was left to grow, to, to grow. I don't know what, whether it's in prison, wherever they kept him now, I don't know. If they left, they leave him outside, what will he do? Or if they did not catch him, police did not catch him that very day, what will he do? because he's looking for money. The flesh, the greediness, and, the, uh, and the, his hard desire 
put him into that very kind of problem. Hallelujah. So we should abstain from all those kind of a thing because God is not in it. And God will help us all out in Jesus' name. So let us now pray some prayer and God will also help us to pray. We don't know how to pray. It's God that gives us the ability to pray. And once we have prayed, let us have the faith that God is going to answer us. Or he has answered us. Say, before we pray, he has already answered. He's just waiting for us to commit everything into his able hand. First of all, let us now start with, say, Lord, I thank you for today. Today is the 10th day of August. Father, I thank you for giving me the opportunity to see this day. Let us now pray. Lord Jesus, Father, Lord God, I bless you today, O Lord. I just worship you because you gave me the opportunity to see this day, O Lord. My Lord, my God, I thank you. I bless your holy Lord. For there is no one like you, Jesus. I thank you for all the families that are online right now, even those that are going to watch or listen to it later. Father, I bless your holy Lord. I worship you, Father. I just thank you for all that you have done and what you're ready to do. For our life and for our family, our children, Father, Lord, we bless you. Jesus, we worship you for that man, for that woman. Lord Jesus, for that person that you have healed, oh Lord, for that heart disease that you have healed, Lord Jesus, we just, plan, we just thank you. I bless your holy Lord, Father. We worship you, Jesus. We bless you, Father, in Jesus' mighty name. Let us quickly ask for the forgiveness of our sins. If we have been doing some of, I mean, some of the things, or those things, the commandment that God gave to us, the laws that he gave to us that we shouldn't do, if we have been doing it, let us ask for God permission or for God's favor, for his mercy in this morning. I say, Lord, have mercy and compassion over me. We bear false witnesses. We are doubting even God. We are doubting him. We, most of us are, are rebel against God. God said, go and do his work. He gave you an assignment to do. You say, no, I want to look for my own. I want to uh, better myself first. Let us now continue to pray and say, Lord, have mercy and compassion over me in the mighty name of Jesus. Oh, Lord God, have mercy upon us today, Lord. Have mercy upon every soul. Whatever sin we might have sinned against you, knowingly or unknowingly, secretly or openly, Father, have mercy upon me, O Lord, especially the sin of rebellion. Father, have mercy. Have mercy upon us today, Lord. That sin of disobedience. Jesus, have mercy upon us. Forgive us, O Lord, in the mighty name of Jesus. Forgive us and forgive our children, Lord, every known and unknown sin in their life, in my life. Father, have mercy. Whatever sin that is in my generation, every ancestral sin, Ask God to forgive you right now in the mighty name of Jesus. My Lord God, have mercy. Have mercy upon me, Father, in the mighty name of Jesus. Every sin that I have sinned, knowingly or unknowingly, the sins of my forefather that is still lingering on, that is still holding me captive, Father, have mercy. Have mercy upon me today, Lord, in the mighty name of Jesus. Let us also pray any door that I've opened for, for, for the enemy to come into my life. Father, I close that door right now with the blood of Jesus in the mighty name of Jesus. Continue to close that, those doors in the mighty name of Jesus. Any door that I have opened, Lord, for any man, for, uh, for those demons to walk into my life, Lord Jesus, those evil men, evil women, for them to come into my life, whatever door I have opened, Lord, Father, I close those doors right now with your blood in the mighty name of Jesus. My Lord, my God, Father, have your way today, Lord. Walk with me and walk through me, Father, in the mighty name of Jesus. We God bless you, O Lord. We worship you, Father. Thank you, Jesus. In Jesus' mighty name, we have prayed. Let's quickly pray. I don't know. Majority of us, we are sick by one way or the other. There are some that are sick physically, or there are some that are speak, sorry, that are sick spiritually. Let us now pray and say, Lord, any physical or spiritual sickness, Lord, Father, have mercy. Heal us today, Lord in the mighty name of Jesus. Heal me, heal every members of this family that are listening right now. Father, heal us, O oh Lord. 
physically or spiritually, financially or otherwise. Father, give every department of our life in the mighty name of Jesus. Oh Lord God, have mercy. Have mercy and heal us, oh Lord, in the mighty name of Jesus. No matter the sickness that the enemy has put in us, oh Lord. Do you know that enemy can even put financial sickness into a family? Ask God this morning to heal you from every financial bankruptcy, every, every poverty. Poverty is a sin, my brother, my sister. Continue to pray that God should remove poverty out from your family in the mighty name of Jesus. Oh Lord God, heal me, Father, in the mighty name of Jesus. Oh Lord, Father, heal me, oh Lord, in the mighty name of Jesus. Heal every department of our life in the mighty name of Jesus. In Jesus' mighty name, we have prayed. We are going to pray and say, every financial failure in my life, receive termination now in the mighty name of Jesus. Whatever that is making your financial, I mean your finances to fail, or that is making people, they call you that you are a failure. Whereas God did not create you to be a failure because you don't have the money that they have. Ask God this morning, tell God to terminate that very word against you in the mighty name of Jesus. Every financial failure in my life, I command it to receive termination right now. I break and I cancel it in the mighty name of Jesus. I ban that financial failure right now in the mighty name of Jesus. Every spirit of financial failure, I bind it, Lord, in the mighty name of Jesus. Every spirit of financial failure in my life, I command it to die in the mighty name of Jesus. Oh, Lord God, every spirit of financial failure in every department of my life, in global light apostolic ministry, my brother, my sister, pray for your family right now in the mighty name of Jesus. Every spirit of financial failure, I bind it in the mighty name of Jesus. I terminate it. I cancel it in the mighty name of Jesus. I terminate that financial failure right now in the mighty name of Jesus. Holy Spirit, take control. In Jesus' mighty name, we have prayed. I say, oh Lord, plant good things in my life. From today, oh Lord, plant good things in my heart, in my life, in my heart, in my family, in the mighty name of Jesus. Because God said we should abstain from evil. We should abstain from fleshly loss. We should abstain from those things that will not profit us. Let us continue to pray and say, Lord, from today, oh Lord, plant good things in the heart of my, in my, of my children, in the heart of my wife, in the heart of my husband. Ask God to plant good seed into your heart right now. That good project, ask God to plant it in your heart in the mighty name of Jesus. Oh Lord God, plant good things in my life in the mighty name of Jesus. Father Lord God, plant good things in my life, oh Lord, in the mighty name of Jesus. Oh many present, how many potent God, Jesus Christ of Nazareth, plant good things in our life, oh Lord. From today, oh Lord, plant good things in global light apostolic ministries in the mighty name of Jesus. Oh Lord God, plant good things in our life in the mighty name of Jesus. I bless your holy name, Father. I worship you, Lord. I thank you, Jesus, because you have done it. The next prayer, let us pray. I say, Lord, oh Lord, uproot every evil things out from my life in the mighty name of Jesus. Evil things like poverty, like sickness, like having evil thoughts against somebody. Ask God to cancel it out from you today in the mighty name of Jesus. Because God said we should love one another in the mighty name of Jesus. Father, Lord, remove every evil thing out from my life, oh Lord, in the mighty name of Jesus. Remove every evil thing. Let it be uprooted in the mighty name of Jesus. Oh Lord, uproot evil things out from my heart in the mighty name of Jesus. Everything, oh Lord, that is in the heart of any man or any woman right now, uproot it, oh Lord, in the mighty name of Jesus. Every evil seed, let it be uprooted right now in the mighty name of Jesus. Let every evil seed be uprooted in the mighty name of Jesus. You are going to pray this for yourself. I'm, for, I'm going to pray for myself. I say, Lord, uh, every sickness in my life receive termination. Continue to terminate it right now. Because they are visitors, their time has expired. Continue to terminate it in the mighty name of Jesus. Every sickness is a law. I, Father, Lord Jesus, I command it to be terminated right now. In the mighty name of Jesus, every evil sin, every evil sickness, every evil movement, every evil arrangement against me, O oh Lord, against me and my family, against me and my work. Father Lord Jesus, pray for your business. In the mighty name of Jesus, I come, I put an end to it. I command it to receive termination. In the mighty name of Jesus, I command it to receive termination right now. In the mighty name of Jesus, every evil sin, every evil sickness, Father, I command it to receive termination right now. In the mighty name of Jesus. In Jesus' mighty name, we have prayed. 
Let us also pray and say, Lord, every architect of problems in my life receive termination in the mighty name of Jesus. Anyone that is so supporting the problem in your life, ask God to terminate their appointment right now. Any evil priest, they take your name to voodoo man or to witch doctor to do something against you. Ask God to terminate that very, they should put confession into their midst right now. Both the one that, that took your name there and the priest that, you are, that is doing it, all of them should be in confession right now in the mighty name of Jesus. Oh Lord God, every attitude of, uh, of problem in my life, I command them to receive termination right now in the mighty name of Jesus. My Lord, my God, I command them to receive termination in the mighty name of Jesus. Father, Lord God, every attitude of my life, I command them to receive termination in the mighty name of Jesus. In Jesus' mighty name, we have prayed. Quickly, we are going to pray for somebody. I don't know. You are, God has called you to do his work, but you are running out from it. We are going to pray for God to empower that person in the mighty name of Jesus. Oh, Lord God, I pray for that soul, oh, Lord. I don't know who the person is. My Lord, my God, we need your support, oh, Lord, in the life of that person. Arrest that person completely and strengthen the person, oh, Lord, to do that very assignment that you have asked him to do in the mighty name of Jesus. Oh, many present and many potent God, Jesus Christ of Nazareth, touch the life of that person, oh, Lord, in the mighty name of Jesus. As you have called him or her, Father, equip him, O oh Lord, with your strength, with your power, in the mighty name of Jesus. Anything that will make him to miss up what you have said he should do, Father, Lord God, in a wrong way, my Lord Jesus Christ of Nazareth, I cut it out from him right now, in the mighty name of Jesus. Strengthen that soul, O oh Lord, strengthen that person, in the mighty name of Jesus. Father, Lord, Holy Spirit, strengthen that person, Lord, in the mighty name of Jesus. In Jesus' mighty name, we have prayed. Our next prayer, I said, I paralyze all spiritual works working against my life in the mighty name of Jesus. All those that are pretending to love you, but because I mean to love you, but they did not love you. They are unfriendly friends. Ask God to paralyze their work, their spiritual work that they have using against you. Whatever thing they are doing in the in the dark, ask God to terminate their, their work right now in the mighty name of Jesus. My Lord, my God. I paralyze all spiritual wolves working against my life in the mighty name of Jesus. All those that are suppressing me wrongly, oh Lord. Jesus, let them be, let them be paralyzed right now. Somebody that is paralyzed, somebody that have a, that, uh, that is having a sickness or is paralysis, it cannot, it cannot do anything tangible. It cannot be strong. So that is why you have to paralyze uh, every work that they are doing against you. Lord Jesus, I paralyze every evil work that they are doing against me, oh Lord. They are doing against my, 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 my family. They are doing against our children in the mighty name of Jesus. I pray that prayer right now for everyone under the sound of my voice right now in the mighty name of Jesus. O many present and many potent God, Jesus Christ of Nazareth, have your way, oh Lord, in the mighty name of Jesus. Manifest yourself, oh Lord, in our life today in the mighty name of Jesus. As let us also pray and say, Lord, the power to come out from every evil, to abstain from the flesh, so that the flesh will not lead us to, 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 to have fire. Father, Lord Jesus, strengthen us to, to come out from that fleshly loss, O oh Lord, in the name of Jesus. The world is glitter, but there is plenty in it, in the mighty name of Jesus. O oh Lord God, Father, the power to abstain from that evil work, O oh Lord, Lord Jesus, from that fleshly loss, give it to me, O oh Lord. Let it multiply in my life in the mighty name of Jesus. Father, I bless you. I worship you, Holy Spirit. Let us also pray because God said we should humble ourselves. Continue to pray right now and say, Lord, I humble myself, O oh Lord, the power to submit. Let me be submissive to every authority, O oh Lord, especially those that are good. Let me be submissive, O oh Lord. The laws that are good, let me be submissive in the mighty name of Jesus to that authority, to that institution. In the mighty name of Jesus, in Jesus' mighty name, we pray. Let us quickly pray and say, Lord, every protocol that have tied me down, Jesus, I break those prot protocol right now. In the mighty name of Jesus, by one way or the other, what belongs to you, the enemy want to hold it captive because there is a protocol either in the family or in the government. Ask God right now. Protocol was broken for 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 Joseph. Protocol was broken for Esther. It was also also broken for many men of God in the Bible. So also in the day today, 
protocols are still broken. What they will put a law and say, this is not supposed to be done or supposed to be given. But because of the grace of God in our life, that protocol will be broken in Jesus' name. Let us now continue to pray. Father, Lord God, Holy Spirit, as we are stepping out today, Father, let every protocol be broken in our life, O oh Lord, in the name of Jesus. Whatever protocol that have tied us down, my Lord, my God, we break those protocols right now in the mighty name of Jesus. Wherever those evil laws are in our family, that, that law that is still tying us down, say, oh, this is how we have been doing it in the family, but you now want to spoil it. Lord Jesus, I break those protocols that is making people not to come to you, oh Lord, in the mighty name of Jesus. Those traditional protocols, let it be broken out from our family today in the mighty name of Jesus. Let us now continue to soak ourselves in the blood of Jesus. My Lord, my God, we soak, I soak everyone in your blood right now in the mighty name of Jesus. Oh Lord God, I soak every family. Those children, I soak them in your blood. Those men and women, I soak them in your blood. Father, Lord God, Holy Spirit, Jesus, anyone that is pregnant, oh Lord, Father, we soak them in your mighty blood right now in the mighty name of Jesus. I also pray for those that are doing their birthday. Father, Lord Jesus, give them a birthday present in the mighty name of Jesus. Wherever they are, whosoever they are, Father, give them a birthday present in the mighty name of Jesus. Have your way, Father, and let your name alone be glorified. I thank you, Jesus, because you have done it for us. For in Jesus' mighty name, we have prayed. Amen and amen. God bless us all. Be ready for the first service. Shortly we come around.